All right, welcome back to Terrible at Fishing. Uh, we've had a good week so far. It's only Thursday. we got a good weekend coming up. So, I have been struggling with something, and that something is actually line integrity, fishing line integrity. So, what I have come to find out is... Um, well, I've learned quite a bit. So, let's go into what I've learned. So, I buy some really nice line. So, there's uh, Cast, King, Cast King Extremis, Cast King Silky 8. That's a new one, by the way. It's got eight strands. It's got four strands in the braid. This has got 13 strands in the braid, the finesse. So, what do these have in common? This is six pounds, six pound strength, eight pound strength. So what does that mean? Well, I bought it for my finesse rods, you know, my BFS and my ultralight. And um, there is something that you need to know about braid. What I love about braid, and what we all love about braid, is it doesn't stretch. You can feel everything on the braid when it hits, right? And monofilament, it stretches. So does fluorocarbon, you know, fluoro, um, fluoro. It also, fluorocarbon also stretches to some extent. So the plastic ones, they, they actually do stretch. But the fabric ones, they do not. So what has been happening? It has been driving me crazy. Now, I have to spend a lot of money. These are not cheap. A lot of money. Yeah, you know, I spent it because this is super strong. Super strong, super strong. And they are. If you were to uh, take the 13X and take a 15 pound weight on it, it won't break. Strong. It's pretty, pretty good, huh? But it doesn't stretch. So what ends up happening is that, you know, especially with my, my bait finesse, um, because I kind of whip it out there, I have a more, more a stronger, more violent um, cast on it. And what ends up happening is that it whips that lure, or you know the bait, it whips it. And, and then with that instant of whipping it, you know, casting it out, it creates great tension on something that does not stretch. So what ends up happening is that when I cast it, the lure flies away and it keeps flying past everything and the line breaks. This is a common thing. I did not know that. I didn't know that. And I'm getting very frustrated losing lures and stuff like that, right? Thinking that everybody, you know, awesome. I've always had a good time with that. Awesome. I mean, it's just awesome, awesome, awesome. And yet, there it goes. There it goes. So, what do you do to fix it? <laughs> so, if you are having problems with braid line, light weight braid line. If you're having problems with it, there are two things you can do. One, don't be so violent on the cast. I mean, you're not, we're not trying to impress anybody, but sometimes we just want to get it out there and work more water, right? So we just bam. But with my BFS, I really do whip it. I really do whip that. Um, I really don't know if I can control myself on my BFS. But uh, so you can you can have a more casual, um, you know, motion on your on your cast. It's not going to go as far, but you're not going to break your line or get larger line. Get larger line if you want to stick with braid. If you want to stick with braid, I would go with you know 25 or 30 pound line. Um, on braid just because it doesn't stretch or staying with my BFS and ultralight 
The other way around it would be, which I haven't got, I have to order it. Ah, here, mono. Ah. You can go with a mono line. <coughs> oh, it's green. Ah, yeah, it's green. <coughs> so, <coughs> you know, here's an eight pound line. And uh, yeah, I have eight pound line. So, I did put the mono line on my um, ultralight, on my BFS. So, uh, uh, you might want to you might want to uh, switch over for your finesse um, stuff. Uh, either very you know you can go with light mono line. So this way, when you cast it, it stretches. Um, yeah, there's a give and take. But you're not going to lose your lures. You're just not going to lose your lures. And um, you won't make the same mistake I made, which is spending a lot of money on product that, I mean, that really I can't use, can I? Because I bought it specifically for my BFS. And I can't cast this without breaking it. And I just got the Extremis four strand. I put it on day before yesterday, went out yesterday, and the line broke twice. And I'm thinking, no way. Twice it broke. I lost two lures. Actually, I only lost one. One was a floating lure. I went and got it. Um, I'm thinking, there's no way. I'm doing something wrong. So... And sure enough, I did a, I did some homework, and it makes sense because braid does not stretch. Go with stronger braid or monofilament, and something a line that stretches. So when you do whip it, it has a give to it, and you won't overstress the line. So that is a very, very important lesson, and hopefully. You guys don't learn expensively like I did because I spent a lot of money. That right there is 10, 30, 40. That's a good $50. This is a good $50 in line. That's what it is. So I don't want you guys to spend a ton of money in line on really lightweight line that you, you know, like. You know, I could do it on my ultralight probably because it has more, you know, the, the something about spinning reels. But my BFS is a casting reel. And I just, I whip it more so than my spinning reel. So um, you, you might be able to still use this, or I might still be able to use this on my spinning setup. But I think I'm going to just stick with monofilament or the fluorocoat, um, something that has some stretch in the cast king lineup and it this will save me a lot of money uh, hopefully it'll save you a lot of money and uh we'll all have a better time out on the water so thank you everybody don't forget to subscribe and like and please sign up for the um the giveaway coming up at 500 um have a good time and you'll see me out on the water take care everybody